How's it going guys? So Teapot here and today we are back with more story of Teapot and today I'm currently sat at my desk with my hands free! Woo! Um, and the reason I'm sat at my desk this morning is because I need to do some uh, stuff for work this morning. I need to just do a uh, survey online quickly. It'll only take me like, apparently it's only going to take me like 5-10 minutes so I'm not going to bother with doing it. I was supposed to do it yesterday at work when I was there uh, but me and my manager just completely forgot so Gonna get on with it today. Uh, just crack on with it before. Uh, gosh, pretty tired still. Uh, before I do anything else in my day, because it's currently half past ten. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna get downstairs, get me a set of coffee, and uh, probably get myself some breakfast because I am pretty hungry. So I'm not on. Well, I've literally just finished the uh, survey that I got asked to do for work, and I am now joined by Adidi. Hello. And she is a, well, she was in a very smiley, shouty mood all of like 10 seconds ago, weren't you? And you were being shouty and stuff like that while I was doing my work. Uh, but she's got all quiet now, I'll put her phone out. But I'm going to head downstairs in a minute, because um, Kim's downstairs making, uh, making us both a coffee. So I'm going to go get that in a minute. And then I'm going to need to cut bloody Evie's nails, because they're sharper than all else I've ever seen. But, and if you can even see them, what the hell? The rich talk of a nail. She's got to do that. I'm buggered. Um, but I'm gonna get downstairs, get my coffee, and cut Evie's nails, and then I think I'm gonna jump on some Fallout, and then I've got work a bit later on. So I'm now downstairs uh, with Evie, who's doing in a mad run around the room, aren't you? You being a little crazy girl. Listen. And uh, joined by Kim, who's just chilling out on the sofa at the moment. And we're just all watching, for some reason, a Sidemen video. I don't understand why, so I'm going to change that in a minute. And now I'm going to jump on um, some Fallout soon. And I've got me uh, dirty bean juice at the ready over there. Um, and we've got some churros that we've just remembered that we bought actually last night with a takeaway. But for some reason, we never ate and we somehow managed to completely forget them. So we're probably going to eat them at some point as well. So Evie has just gone uh, up to bed for a nap and I'm just uh, playing some Fallout 76 for a little bit um, while watching some Breezy. Um, if you've never watched Breezy before or Bree I believe um, her name is actually on YouTube. Let me see what her actual name is. Uh, Miss Breezy. So if you've never watched Miss Breezy before. Go check her out because she's actually really good. I've been watching it for a very, very, very long time. If you guys remember the newbie series from uh, Machinima, it was a Minecraft series, uh, literally like where they took Mickey out of newbie, newbie players and stuff like that. Um, that's it's the same person, but um, they have had a sex change over the last. Well, they've been having a sex change for a good few years now. They've been like going through the process of it all and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure she, um, she is now. Uh, a full female, uh, but I'm not too sure exactly. Um, but she's like such a funny uh, YouTuber, and to be honest, needs a lot more support than she actually gets. So I definitely recommend go checking her out. But I've come over to come see if I can see little Giz anywhere, or well, little Gizmo, or little G as I like to call him. Um, if you understand that reference as well, you're a legend because that reference is well. To be honest. You guys, a lot of you guys are actually probably know where um, that's from because a lot of you guys are actually like watch a lot of gaming stuff from what I can, what I remember. Well, a lot of you guys do gaming stuff and stuff like that as well, so you probably know where it's from. So if you do, you're an absolute legend, as I said. But Gizmo seems to be hiding just to put my finger up there. He's hiding just in all that deep, like foliage and stuff like that again. If I come to the top, I can actually kind of see him a little bit better. So if I um, see if I can get you to see him through the top. Uh, can you see him? You might be able to see him just in there, but not very well. He's hiding pretty well, though, which is pretty good, to be honest. It's, it's an advantage that he's able to hide, because then, that's obviously, it's still, he feels comfortable in his home and stuff like that. But I'm going to see if I can turn the camera around and actually get a proper shot for it for you of him. So, do you see that little brown outline just there or below my finger? It's actually Gizmo, or Gizzy, or Little G, or whatever you want to call him. So... There you go, you can get a bit better view for it, of him there, um, where the shadow's hitting this. Uh, so he does look quite, he's looking healthy. I'll give him that, he's looking rather good. So let's see if I can actually see, you'll be able to just see like his outline just there. Like, you see that little brown thing through all the leaves, that's literally Gizmo. So he's a bit difficult to see right now, as I said. Like there's no good angle I can really get on him to make him visible or anything like that. I could get in and just move a few at leaves, but... Don't want to disturb him just in case he is actually asleep. 
So Evie has uh, been eating a hell of a lot more recently. So we've stopped giving her as much milk. And we've started giving her more actual, like, full, full, full-fledged foods. And Kim is currently giving her cheese, sweet corn, and what, her? Multigrain cheese... Uh, no, carrots. Uh, multigrain cheese. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. It's and, weird. Yeah, it's like a powdery food kind of thing that like you have to put water in and stuff. It's a bit like what I was showing you yesterday with um, little G's food, uh, that little, like, powdery stuff. Um, but seems she seems to really, really like it, which is good. Don't you? You seem to really, really like it. So she's absolutely just chucking it back. Um, but gonna we're feeding Evie now, and then we're going to be feeding uh, little G. And today, I believe we're going to give him some live food, because uh, he is due his food very shortly. And um, then I'm at, well, then obviously, in about an hour, I'm going to get ready for work. And then uh, I'm just going to set off to work, and then I'm there till 9 o'clock, and I've just been playing some video games for the time being and everything like that. So I'm just going to carry on playing this, and then obviously get little G his food ready. So, as I said, it is now feeding time for um, Gizmo, and Kim has got um, all the crickets and everything like that that he eats. Um, there is a fair amount in there, but we do have to look after them as well, funnily enough. So we actually feed them cucumber, uh, we keep them in a well-ventilated area that's actually well lit and stuff like that. And they are covered in um, calcium powder, which is this stuff, it's called Calcium Pro MG Essential Calcium and Magnesium, and that's for... Um, Little gizmo, so he actually like gets his proper vitamins and stuff like that that he needs, and which he, which will help him grow a into giant a. Cricket in here as well. Yeah, there's a giant cricket right at back that we That's need. The image yeah, we need to get that out at some point because I believe that was him from um, the last time. How many is he having? He has three, I believe. It's free anyway. Pretty sure it's free. I'm gonna have to double check that though. Just double check it as actually I'm free. Well, if you want me to, I can do it. No. Yeah. Well, Kim's going to try and attempt to feed uh, Gizmo his um, live food. So what we're going to do is uh, we use tweezers to get them out and stuff like that, and then we put them straight in. But I'm going to put the camera down and actually give her a hand. Uh, so I've now set off for work, and uh, I'm on my way to get the bus. It seems uh, it did leave quite abruptly, though, today, because we finished feeding uh, Little G um, his uh, crickets and everything like that. Obviously, he had not eaten them straight away, because obviously he's got to go hunting for them himself. Um, but um, I literally went and got ready straight away and got straight off because, uh, like I said, yeah, we, the same as yesterday, I still need to go to Argos um, to go get um, the, well, the stuff from there to pick it up and everything like that. So I'm on my way to the bus station and hopefully Sainsbury's today, but we're busy, but it's a sad day, so it's very unlikely. So I've just been into um, B&M because uh, I wanted some to eat and something to drink before I went. And I've got, I had a 12 minute wait originally when I came to the bus station and now it's 9 minutes so still quite a lengthy amount of time so I'm going to take a seat in the bus station, get my food down me because I'm a bit hungry and then, um, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get into Sainsbury's today because I don't think I'll have enough time but we'll see what time I actually get to the bus station. So, once again, I'm on the bus and there's no surprise whatsoever and for once, there's actually put one on the bus down that way. Um, there's a massive rarity, the sword on the, well, the second floor of us is a massive rarity. We're a handful of people downstairs, but I've been past um, quite a few pubs and stuff like that. And I'll tell you something, every single one that I've gone past has got a sign outside saying that it's full, um, and they're not taking any more people. And every beer garden I've been past, I can tell you something, I have seen a multitude of people not even following the social distancing rules. So literally like, that's, I went past a pub that had like eight people all the way around just one table and you could tell like they've got up from their table and come over to speak to them on their table like is it I've already said this to other people like people when they drink are not going to listen to the social distancing rule they're not going to care it's going to be a nightmare um, it, and this is I reckon this is going to cause like, another outbreak 100% like another outbreak is going to be caused by this because like like I said, drug people just don't listen, they don't care, they've got, they just, they just don't give a fuck really. Um, so I reckon it's just going to cause more of an issue. And when we're trying to flatten the curve, if anything, we're just going to cause it to flatten vertically and just cause more issues than it's actually worth. So earlier I said um, that I was going to try and go to uh, Sainsbury's if possible and uh, get my uh, stuff that I was waiting to pick up and everything like that and funny enough I actually went, I only had like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to actually get in there and out and everything like that 
and I managed to actually get in because we're only five people waiting and get in pretty quickly because I ended up getting myself a new controller because not too long ago Eva decided to throw up on it on my own controller so I've been using Kim's for a while and that's slowly on its way out so we did need a new one um, got Eva a phone to play with and I got Eva because she likes my controller a lot like my PlayStation controller a hell of a lot so I got her her own controller that she can play with oh god I've set it off at work oh no this is the worst thing in the world oh wait it's gone quite already thank god for that but I'm gonna get them in my locker get ready for work well get get on to shift and everything like that and next time you'll probably see me it's probably about nine o'clock because that's when I'm due to finish so I'm already in Osset and um, I've been on bus and everything like that the reason I didn't film anything was because I was actually on the phone to Kim uh, just talking about some general stuff um, just about my shift and stuff like that um, so obviously been on the bus already, done all that, got off of the bus. I've even been to B&M for a uh, few little bits and pieces, and now I'm just making my way home. Oh, sorry, my glasses that. We got on my way home, because I'm going to get, well, as soon as I get in, I'm just going to chill out, play some video games. I think I'm going to jump back on Fallout. Um, what time actually is it? To be honest, I might quickly run into co-op if it's actually up, but I don't think it is, unfortunately. And of course, co-op shut. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to shut for another like five minutes or something like that, but ah well, I don't mind. Uh, I was gonna go get some like beef jerky or something like that because I've got craving for beef jerky for some reason, and I couldn't get any in uh, B and M. But I know they definitely do sell it in there. Um, but like I said, it is shut, which is a real shame, but it happens. So I'm gonna make my way home now, like I said, and hopefully, well, oh well, uh, yeah, hopefully I can just chill out for the rest of the evening. Cause I'll tell you something, my feet are actually killing me tonight. So I'm now home and um, Evie is, well I've just got all, uh, got Evie's pie out, I've got this one out for her and uh, she doesn't seem too interested in this one but I'll tell you something at the controller that I got her, look at her, she's pressing all the buttons and everything, see if we can get, to, uh, if we can get a press the button, there we go, <laughs> see, she's, uh, she seems to really really like it which is really good don't you, you enjoy it don't you, so she seems to really really enjoy her new toy which is a massive bonus so what she can do now really is she, she can kind of like play games with us in a sense when we play ga games and so another problem that we've had with a lot of Evie's toys is she struggles to press the buttons like she can't seem to press them down because she's too gentle with stuff that's Evie's problem she's too soft really uh, but with this one she can kind of like just kind of like place her fingers on them and they press really easily so she can actually like play with it properly and stuff like that which is a massive bonus because it's like the tablet that we got her and stuff like that and she like struggles to press the buttons and she sits there and like shakes it around going, I don't, I can't do it. <laughs> and she gets like angry she and stuff like that. Yeah, she throws it out and throws it at us and stuff like that and gets angry at it because it isn't making the noise she wants. Um, so it's actually good to have something that actually she can use and she's, look at her, she's absolutely enthralled with it. Like I've come home and like she's more interested in that than me. Um, <laughs> But at least, like I said, it gives her something to actually play with when, when like, say me and Kim are playing games or something like that. She can feel like she's involved and it helps and it's a massive distraction as well because just look at her, she's in a world of her own, bless her. So guys, I need to actually outro this vlog and I thought I'd do it with Evie since she's on my knee at the moment. And I believe in the last clip, uh, you saw me literally come home from work and you saw Evie playing with her controller, didn't we? Yeah, you've been playing with your controller all morning as well. Uh, bless her, she's been loving it. And uh, she's even been playing with her phone now as well, which is a massive bonus as well. So it's good to know that she enjoys them both. Anyway, guys, like I said, I do need to outro this vlog. So, guys, um, down below in the description will be a link to all our like social medias and stuff like that if you'd like to follow us there. Also, as well, there'll be a link to us Patreon as well if you'd like to support us. Obviously, if you can't, we appreciate that you're just watching these videos because that just helps us all massively. As well, guys, if you'd like, could like and share the video because that helps massively as well. Also, if you could subscribe as well, that's a massive bonus. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video at 6 p.m. And peace.